Our next one again, come to the stage. Get loud right now for Mr. Jason Robinson, everyone. <laughs> Last time I did that, I fell off the stage. This dude was like, yeah, please don't do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, that's a right there. You know, and I can't take Xanax and drool it all down myself. You know, that's not good luck. And I can't smoke weed. And you know, that this guy's like, what? what do you mean you can't smoke weed? Like, for real, I can't smoke weed. You guys are probably like, oh, you know, he probably got like a drug test or something. No, I'm a teacher. They stopped drug testing us years ago. For real. But like, for real, it, it's the munchies for me. Like, I, I, I can't, I really can't, do, like, you know what it is? I can't end up on my 600 pound life, you know? <laughs> so they're like, now nah, here's where it all went wrong. <laughs> One toke allowed. Now he needs a flatbed truck to get out of the house. Like, I can't, I, I can't do it. Oh, but I tell you what, man, you know, I just got divorced not too long ago. Give it up for me. Got all this but I tell you, the thing that nobody really talks about is I went through the biggest dry streak. I had no love for the big man. Nothing. And you know, like, <laughs> now for real, I, 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 I really had no love at all. And ladies, let me tell you what happens. When a dude goes through a dry streak, like, for real, you revert back to being in high school. Like, every little thing just sets you off. You know? Like, you set the AC at 74, that wind comes across, it hits you just right, you're at full attention, man. Like, it's, it's tough, you know? And so, here, here, let me tell you what happened. So, I'm in my apartment, minding my business, you know, doing my thing. And then I heard it coming from my upstairs neighbor. Just <laughs> and then I heard it, uh, I was like, oh, we got a live one here, you know? And so I'm sitting there, you know, taking notes on his cadence and everything, you know, trying to picture what's going on there, you know, like maybe she's got like, she has some big titties, and she's banked up, like just give it to her. I'm like, you know, what's going on here? And then I heard it, just a shush, 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 shush. I realized I was about to beat my meat to a washing machine. <laughs> Getting aroused in Maytag, you know? So on a quick side note, um, I can't walk by washing machines without, you know, feeling some kind of way. And I'm kind of banned from every Home Depot in the area. It's tough. But no, like I said, I'm a teacher, and you know, I love what I do. I really and truly do, but like, I tell these kids all the time, like, I'm one bad day from snapping. And don't be that first person to get choked. You know, my kindergartners don't really find that too funny. Uh, but, no, for real, I, I teach middle school. Anybody here got a middle school kid? Anybody? No, a couple people. You know what? I hate every one of y'all. <laughs> I do. And it's about like me. What the? Listen, you knew you kids smelled like that when they left the house. No reason sitting in my class at 8 a.m. Musty as hell. No, that's ridiculous. But listen, they had me teaching second grade for one year. One year. I couldn't do it any longer than that. And. You know, I, while I was there, I wanted to, you know, put my wisdom on, you know. And that's why I used to tell them all the time, like, hey, you know, keep your head up. It's all good. You know, because they just sit there wilding out, like, snap their pants, oh, like, no, hey, chill out. Keep your head up. It's all good. So this little girl came up to me. 
in the cutest candy. Tears streaming from her face. Like Miss Robinson, I had an accident. Like, whoa. First off, back up. I give her a quick scan. Like, accident where? You know, you good. Like, and I get her all gassed up and she's smiling. Like, you know, what do I tell you all the time? She's like, keep your head up, you're all good. I'm like, yeah, go have fun. Turned around, whole back of her pants, soaking wet. And I was just like, I'm not gonna stop her. You know, she's already got all that confidence. You know, who am I to cut her down? You know? She goes gonna be a CEO one day. You're welcome. But I tell you what, man. You know, I, I love this country, I really do, most of the time. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but we, we got issues, we really got issues. And like, one of the things is that we uh, just have people that will complain about different things and uh, never want to do anything about it. You know, and I just, I can't stand people like that. Like for real, if you're one of those people, I hope you stub your toe on every piece of furniture in your house. <laughs> like, get up and do something. Like, you know, I'm a big dude. And I complain about it sometimes, you know. And uh, especially because I can't see my toes. So, you know, not for the last 10 years. And so, like, I, I really wanted to, I really got to get out and do something. You know, because I'm getting older too. Things get harder as you age, you know, it's harder to lose the weight, you know, it's harder to walk upstairs, it's harder to tie your shoes and breathe at the same time. <laughs> like for real, I, I got a pair of high tops not too long ago, passed clean out, man, like, like for real. And, <laughs> but no, so like me and my girl, we decided we were gonna go kayaking, you know, get out and be adventurous, you know, do the outdoorsy thing, man. And, uh, yeah, it's already like, I, 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 I can't believe that. But no, bro. So, <laughs> I get there, and the guy's like, hey, you know, uh, you're a big guy. You have to ride by yourself. I'm like, all right, two person kayak, me by myself, I can stretch my legs out. Perfect. And then they give me a life jacket, right? And you know, you want a life jacket, you know, zip up. Nah, mine fit like Dora the Explorer's backpack. All the way over here. <laughs> I can't put my arms down. And so here I am, walking to the kayak. And I finally get out there. I sit my happy ass down. <laughs> and then they push me off. Going through good. Paddling out. Like, I got this. And that's where it all went wrong. A few paddles in. Next thing you know, I'm taking all water. Yo, I sunk a small vessel right to the bottom of the But the thing that messed me up, though, is while I'm on my way down, this guy looked at me from the shore. He goes, hey, man, keep your head up. You're all good. Uh, thank you. 